Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Lara. And today we're reacting to... The Boondog Season 3, Episode 5, The Hateocracy. Now this video was requested by... Vola Johnson. And the comment will be right here. <laughs> now before we get to this video, please comment down below what videos y'all want us to react to next as we will get to it. All that good stuff. So guys, let's start the video. <laughs> What a wonderful surprise. You guys making me brunch. Well, we're not the chef you are, Robert. But we were thinking, Robert... Yo, okay, okay. That's good right there. Okay. Give so much to everybody else. So much to give back to him for a change. You know, I've often thought the same thing myself. Besides, somebody's been losing a little too much weight. You been hitting the gym? Well, a little. You know I do my tie bow. <laughs> Whoa! They was having such a beautiful time. I know. <laughs> My name is Colonel H. Thank me now. And this time, I'm rolling deep, Nyoko. Come on, we gotta get out of here. But Sarah! You can find another white woman. Just run! Wait, <laughs> slow him down. Oh my god! Bad for y'all. I lived, <laughs> you died. I lived, and you died. <laughs> we know that niggas can create conflicts based on ignorance called nigger moments. However, niggas can also create bonds with each other also based on ignorance. This bonding is called nigger synthesis. Unlike the bond of friends and family, which are mutually beneficial, nigger synthesis is based on a mutual appreciation for ignorance or trivial things. Now, when a nigger moment collides with nigger synthesis, you get a complete disaster. Remember this equation. You will need it later, nigger. <laughs> called Woodcrest. Is this it? Maybe. Look, you want gas or not? We're looking for a man. Oh, yeah, I bet you are. You're looking for the number, man, or the weed, man, or the welfare, man. No, the man I'm looking for is named Freeman. Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. I knew it. You related to Robert Freeman. So you know him? Yeah, I know him. But Woodcrest don't need no more colors. We got our color photo fill. So y'all can just get to stepping and get in that piece of car, turn it around and head it back up the road, crusty the coon. Why don't you just tell me where Robert is before I put fire across your lip, you big black dummy? Yeah, start talking, you one-eyed, fish-eyed fool. <laughs> hey, we ain't got all night, buffalo butt. I ain't scared of y'all, that crap of Negroes. Come on. Stop that, 
Yo, turn on the news. The attack happened yesterday at this gas station just outside of Woodcrest. The victim, a Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. <laughs> Loud, there was three of them. Two black nigger men and one black nigger woman. Thought they each had big black lips, big black nostrils, and a big black attitude problem. Police have released this composite sketch of the attackers based on the victim's description. Yo, <laughs> how you get beat up by a gang of old people? That's <laughs> <Yes>. odd. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing that bad since Granddad got beat up by Stink Meaner. Hey! <laughs> it's all right, Granddad. I'll probably kill a nigga, too, if they embarrass me like that. I kill a man in self-defense. In defense of your ego, maybe. Well, tough titty for him. He's dead and I'm going fishing. here for Huey and Riley uh, Freeman. Huey Freeman, please report to the front office. You know what's going on? They said our aunt and uncle came to pick us up. Aunt and uncle? Man, something's not right. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Just how far away is their classroom? The moon? They should have been here by now. You know kids always lollygagging. It'll just be a second. Can I offer you some water? Yo, where we going? I don't know, but we getting out of here. Oh. Well, well, well. We came a long way to kill y'all little nigglets. Now it's time for the big bonanza. You know what this is. <laughs> Yo, you see these two old ass niggas? Come on. Yo, why be front? Damn, them old niggas can jump. Yo, why they always beating on Riley, bro? I know. <laughs> you know, Riley can't fight. I ain't gonna lie. Yui, Yui can fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, that problem. <laughs> Biddy, Biddy, I can't. Fish and I'm baiting this hook. Gonna catch me some fish today. Good morning. Crabbing, huh? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I think I might catch me a few more. I mean, that's what you did, just think me. <gasps> Isn't that right, Robert Freeman? <laughs> no fun. by the bell. Yes. <laughs> Damn bell to rank. Come on, let's go. Ah! 
got him. for answers, we turn to the one place that might tell us what we need, Wikipedia. Okay, let's see here. Old and blind, worst human being ever, killed by Robert Freeman, came back from the dead. Wait, look at this. In his younger years, Colonel Stinkbeiner belonged to a crew of violent hoodlums known as the Hateocracy. Colonel H. Stinkbeiner. Give me this, little nigga. It's my story. Now my boy, Lord Ruth, is crab miser. Lady Esmeralda, bright nasty. And Mr. George Christopherson met at the Better Pastures Retirement Home. Now we hated each other right away, but we hated everyone else even more. Oh, yum. White, yellow jack nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> A9, A9. <laughs> Bingo, sucker! Turn your ass around and look at your damn car. I win, nigga! A, um, <clears throat> subscription to Reader's Digest? Give me that, nigga! Eventually, they couldn't take us no more and they kicked us the f out. My crew roamed out. You would have getting kicked out the first day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> niggas' asses for a decade. And then we split up. Colonel H. Stink Mina died years later in a street fight with Robert Freeman from Woodcrest. Hey, that, that's me. Once notified of Stink Mina's death, the surviving members of the Hateocracy reunited to enact revenge on the Freeman family. Oh, this is terrible. What did I do to deserve this? Uh, you killed a nigga? What did that have to do with anything? <laughs> Eventually, they're gonna find out where we live. Man, I said we go man. out there and ride on these fools. Yes, let's kill them before they kill us. That's a plan that can't go wrong. What if it doesn't end there, Granddad? This could go on forever. I'm telling you, Granddad, I know exactly how to handle this. They want to go to war, I'll take them niggas to war. <laughs> That didn't work. Well, at least you tried. Some people think we should just sit here and wait to be killed. Shoot. We need protection, but there's only one person who can help us now. Yes? Uh, yeah. Is this Mr. Bushido Brown? Now, see, you done already messed up. My name is Grandmaster Bushido Brown. And if you ain't got no money, this is about to be a real short conversation, you dig? Uh, how was your flight, uh, Mr. Brown? First class was comfortable, I hope. Your time is running out. What's the job? There's some people out to get us. We need protection around the clock. Man, I work for people with real money. Judging from this place, y'all can't even afford Bushido Brown. We'll pay whatever it costs. How much is going to cost? How much is your life worth? No, see, I'm asking you how much your bodyguard services are going to cost. And I'm asking you how much your life is worth, Jack. <laughs> Bushido Brown services came with a whole lot of bulls. The first was that he got to sleep in Robert's bed. Robert the bitch-ass Freeman had to fly out two personal assistants, a cook and a spiritual advisor, all first class, all of whom stayed at their house. <laughs> Them niggas had to sleep in the living room. <laughs> the garage was converted into a workout room, which only Bushido Brown was allowed to use. He also required 1,200 thread count sheets, imported Wagyu Kobe beef from Japan, and a Tushiyoki Hands Riado cleaning toilet, all at Robert's expense. They oh, found no, themselves no. in a no. the position. Mm. Yo, come on, bro. Yeah. I should have wished my crew would try to whoop their asses even sooner. Attention, Laron, your break is over. We need <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse me. Laron, your break is over. <laughs> Yo. Excuse me for a second. I have to use the latrine. No, wait, stop! It's only 30 seconds late. In the I can't 
can't stand this lady. I don't know how much longer I can afford this guy. Why don't they try to kill us already? Damn. Well, how do we know those crazy old coots are still even after us? Maybe they went home or died of old age or something. That bullshit ass toilet you bought just broke. You mean it won't flush? Did I say it won't flush? The hands-free cleaning system won't work. I told you to get the Tushioki 2200 series. You got the 1100 series, and the 1100 series is some bullshit. Well, they didn't have the 2200 series. That's your problem. You better have a replacement before I have to take a again. Well, what if I can't get the replacement in time? Hey, I don't care if you wipe it, but Bushido Brown don't wipe his own ass. Nigga, did you just tell me to wipe your ass? <laughs> That's it. You fired. You firing Bushido Brown? You heard me. You and all these raggedy m you brought with you get the f on. I'm sick of this. Now you do understand. There's no refunds for early termination on our. Whatever, opinion. nigga. Beat it. <laughs> Wait, I changed my mind. Too late, old man. Too late. Now if you want to hire me again, I might be available. Okay, fine. For double the fee? Double the fee? But I've already paid you! Hey, this ain't a negotiation. Take it or leave it. If I was you, I'd take it. Okay, fine, damn it. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The legendary Bushido Brown. The greatest black karate man to ever live. That's Grandmaster Bushido Brown. Mm. Of course it is. Come on, boy. Come on. I ain't scared of you. was a huge mistake, but killing us isn't going to bring him back. He's right. Look, what happened with Stinkman, it shouldn't have happened, okay? I admit it. I was embarrassed because I got beat up by an old man. I was ashamed. I could have walked away from it then, but I didn't. I didn't mean to kill him. It just happened. It's my fault. I'm sorry. There. I've said it. I'm sorry. It was wrong, and I wish I could take it back, but I can't. So please, please, can we just end this? No. <laughs> Man, we don't give a f about no steak, Mina. What? what? Huh? Just because he was our nigga doesn't mean we gave a f about his ass. We don't need no reason to f it up. That's why we drink Hennessy. That's why we smoke menthols. That's why we niggas. We likes to ruin f Hell, y'all just gave us an excuse. If it wasn't you, we'd probably just pick someone at random and ruin their life. Huh? Oh, come on. Well, now what? Now you die. Ooh, the police. Thank God for the police. I mean, uh, who's this? Who called Popo? All 
right. You three are under arrest for the murder of Bushido Brown. Oh, thank you, officer. Thank you. I can't believe somebody snitched. That's gay. These three won't be bothering you anymore. Then why do you think they were after you guys specifically? It was a nigga moment. Oh, of course. A nigga moment. Well, there's only one way to end a nigga moment for good. Jail. Jail? Jail. <laughs> that makes sense. Jail. Isn't that great, Huey? Jail. Of course. Oh, thank God for jail. Glad we could help. And that's the moral of the story. Some niggas just need to go to jail. I might be in hell, but at least I ain't in jail, nigga. Let me have my car. I can't believe somebody snitched. Niggas is out here like running faucets. Y'all can get off my property now. And make sure you clean his head and dickhead off my yard. And get that ass squirting toilet out of my house, too. Yo, I cannot believe what happened. <laughs> I thought he was gonna win. Actually, the cutting of the head? Worst way to die. No, but seriously, why does Riley always lose in his fights, man? That's one thing that I wanna know. I Can know. you explain that to me? Thank you so much, Bolo, again, for requesting this video. Always comment down below what videos y'all want us to react to next as we will get to it. And don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification button. And we see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.